the well is drilled and cased. So completion operations will be the next step of the whole well construction process. I would say in today's operations and especially counting that the well completion is not routine operation, it requires high attention from all personnel on the rig site. So I would recommend that it is mandatory to start completion phase and then each main smaller step of the operations uh, within this scope from pre-job and the safety meeting. So the meeting should cover several of the uh, points. Operational sequences as per completion program. Even that not everyone on the rig might understand the details, but the personal time management for all people on location might increase the efficiency of the operations. It will also reduce the crew fatigues and it might help company man in the OIM or tool pusher to optimize number of people on board. Communication channels and the focal points during the operations. Well, this is essential. People must know to whom they need to report in case of the observation that something goes wrong. Awareness on the duties and responsibilities. Well, we don't do the completion operation on a daily basis on the drilling rigs. So, understanding is of the duties and responsibilities might also help in the process of increasing efficiency of the job. Very important point is to understand the lifting procedures and ensure that there is a proper handling equipment. There are so many special components in the completion assembly which require special care, which are much easier to damage than the pipe or the drill collars, which we can't get used to handle. So, care must be taken not to scrap the high cost of high dollar equipment and tools. Good fluid management. The light brines are relatively cheap. There are also very, very expensive fluids. These fluids are designed to control high pressure wells and their cost might come to $1,000 per barrel. It's not uncommon today. Just listen, $1,000 per barrel of the fluid. Discuss special circumstances which might arise. Uh, well conditions might change and specific equipment which is used. Risk assessment as such is not the exercise of office boys. It is only useful and valid when people on the rig side discuss the risks and mitigating measures right on the well location. To be effective in such tasks, the crews need to know what they might deal with. Sensitive points for the special attention of the rig crew, for example, like no rotation of the tubing string during running the hole with eccentric cables and control lines. Okay. Drilling crew get used to rotate the drill string. They drill like this. Okay. When it's changed to completion, this habit may cause crushing the completion components, the cables, uh, control lines, etc. And what is also important is to review shut-in procedures in case of the kick for each stage of the completion job. Many completion designs are simply not very friendly to standard well control procedures. The BOP might not seal on a pipe with attached cable or too many control lines. The slotted liners or the screens will not allow isolation of the well even if BOP seals on the body. All contingencies must be discussed before the operations. And that is why we need pre-job safety 